On this week's show, Six Degrees of Johnny V. All this and more on 118 of the Inside Infinity Podcast. Do you like Disney as much as we like Disney? Of course you do, or you wouldn't listen to an Infinity Podcast. Well, if you do, you should check out the MouseCast, MediaMeltdownPodcast.com. The MouseCast is a bi-weekly podcast about all things Disney. Disney movies, Disney theme parks, Disney rumors, Disney news, all things Disney. Check on the MouseCast, bi-weekly, MediaMeltdownPodcast.com. Hello, welcome everyone to episode 118 of the Inside Infinity Podcast. Happy 2016 to all of you. I am Will Kelly, one of your three hosts this evening. To my right is none other than Mr. Limphilia, a.k.a. Bad Gamer. What you doing, buddy? Hi, hey, thanks for having me back. I'm out of purgatory, so you let me out. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't yes. keep you there. I, don't, I, I think we had some miscommunication if you thought that's what was going on. It was me. I, I admit fully. Oh, well. No one expects the Canadian. It's too nice. We what, get away with everything. It's great. What were you signing there? What What was that? You were given numbers. So I was oh. like, it's 2016, oh. episode 117. I see. <laughs> I see. Okay, yeah, cool. Well, thanks. Trying for that. to madly text you and say every time you move your head, your mic rolls across your shirt. <laughs> oh, so oh, no, that's me because I got I can go. I'm going to hold it right there. The whole show right there. You you, you know, must right? you must you must now. That would be great. <laughs> I hate you. I'm not going to edit that out. It's going to live on the internet forever. <laughs> that other sultry right. voice. You know, Lloyd, we get more compliments on your soothing voice than anything else on this show. How are you doing tonight, my friend? I find that very unlikely, Will, but I would like to thank you for lying to me. It makes me feel better about myself, and I need that sometimes, Will. It's either the your voice amazing voice Canadian or your amazing NPR. mic. It's one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the both are related, actually. Uh, no, I'm doing really good, man. It's uh, it's been a there was a nice break, got to relax a little bit, spend a lot of time with the family, play some games. Uh, it's been it's been good, but it's 2016, which is crazy, it's absolutely craziness. crazy. But we have lots to look forward to in the world of Infinity for 2016, some of which we're going to be discussing later in the show. So you know what? It's it's good. And I'm surprised, Lloyd, uh, Lim, I'm surprised you even showed up, actually, uh, simply because we got a lot of uh, shade thrown at us last week when uh, people were like, no, we want more Star Wars holiday special. Why'd you cut it off? And uh, I'm surprised people actually came back to listen. One of our com- we got a comment today. It was awesome because they're like, I love the intro, uh, especially since their uh, Star Wars toy box was modeled uh, after the holiday special. So I was like, oh, that was that was pretty cool, pretty cool, interesting. That's cool. <laughs> I'd like to welcome everyone to the, our first show of the new year. We got a lot of people in there, and thanks for sticking it out with us pretty late this evening. Let's see here. I'm not going to go through everyone, but uh, some people came uh, over from the D-Rest podcast, which we recorded prior to this. Uh, what's up, Carter? Welcome. Ben's, Benson, sorry. Welcome. AWG, good seeing you. Grinning Ezra. How's it going, Jeff? Uh, we got Cindy in there and Carrie and uh, Krellen and, and lots of fun folks in there. So uh, thanks for joining. Sorry I'm not mentioning all the names. It's, that's what happens when you have so many people joining live. But we do appreciate each and every one of you joining us. Uh, Lim, I was streaming this morning doing the wee hours with Will and uh, yeah. I had the familiar faces in there and it's just so cool and that's how i felt like the show was going to be it's like it's like coming home just having all of our friends yep. join us and uh we know that not everyone can join us live and that's okay thanks to all who listen to the podcast via whatever podcast uh, fetcher you have also on youtube really appreciate it and uh just know that you're with us each week as well even though we're not screaming out your name so you gotta find a way to do that Lim is doing the emo heart I don't even know. That's not the emo heart anymore. What is that called? I don't know. It's a heart. <laughs> it's the heart. 
It's a heart. I'm an old man. This is a heart. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, since we're uh, we're kind of uh, starting late here, let's just go ahead and get things started. But before we do that, let's uh, do a little housekeeping. So if you haven't checked us out yet over on the Res TV network, it's resrezd.tv. Head on over there. That is the official home of the Inside Infinity podcast. That's where all of our shows are hosted each and every week. I'm just I'm going to grab a character since that seems to be the thing to do. And uh, yeah, so check out Res. We have lots of content over there. The Media Meltdown Boys are over there. Uh, the Mousecast is also there. And we had our D-Res podcast or Inside Dimensions podcast, all things Lego Dimensions. So check us out. We're trying to build up that channel. It's uh, kind of starting fresh for us, but that is the official home of Inside Infinity. So check out Res.tv. Gentlemen, let's get going with the news. How's that sound? Love it. Oh, dude, is that a is that a uh, uh, force effects and light, light effects? effects? My, my latest light effects oh. just came. Out today. Got my got my Luke. That's awesome. I'm happy. I have three now. This I, the only three that I've been able to find in Canada are the two ones that I really wanted: Luke and Vader, and then Mighty Man himself. Nice, Anakin, baby I, Vader. I, ha- I have a Vader on the way. From where? Oh, never mind. From um, retail. No, not not a retailer. Uh, it was a gift, a, a gift from legendary writer who's in nice. there. Legendary writer twenty four. Nice. Heather sent out a gift, so that's awesome. I'll that's do cool. an unboxing or something. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> you got to. They're great. <clears throat> cool guys. Uh, can I just say something Star Wars related? I should have. Well, I couldn't have mentioned this last time, but uh, I my wife watched all of the trilogy, all seven episodes last week we watched them together and i gotta be nice. honest watching them back to back like that and sharing in her <laughs> excitement has really uh kind of created a, a new spark in me and uh, i am a much larger fan this week than i was even last week and so that's pretty it's pretty cool being able to share in that with her i still don't think i'm going to be able to get her to play infinity with me but uh you know what <laughs> dude she's so awesome playing this game i know right that's what i keep telling her i'm gonna have you text her that limb no, okay. She just doesn't she's enjoy so it. She's so entertaining. <laughs> but that's she's okay. so entertaining when she plays, though. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, guys. That's enough about me. Let's talk about some Disney <laughs> Infinity news. we got a couple things to talk about, one of which actually happened uh, pre-Christmas, but it was important stuff, so we wanted to talk about it. But first up, I'm super, super geeky excited about this, and it is so dumb. The man, <laughs> the legend, Johnny V is going to be a guest judge on Cake Wars. Do you guys watch Cake Wars on the <laughs> yeah. Food Network? I have I usually place. don't. I yeah. yeah, I watch it on like Netflix or something like that. Oh my god, I got totally addicted this Christmas actually cuz they did uh, a series of holiday cakes and it was so freaking awesome. And so when I saw this news, I don't know what I was most excited about, the fact that uh like JV was just going to be on TV or JV was going to be on on Cake Wars. Um, <laughs> so why is JV, you might be asking yourself, why is JV going to be on Cake Wars? Well, because they're having a special Star Wars based episode. And uh, so uh, JV is going to be the ghost guest. Blech, the guest. What do you guys think of this? I think it's great. I think he's going to do amazing. He has the personality where I could see him doing a lot of reality TV. Like I could see him on the island stranded, um, like making stuff out of his shirts and and big collars. Like, <laughs> how much stuff could he carry with his big collars and cuffs, man? Like he could, he could like, I don't know. Yeah. Amex maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah. I could see him do all the reality TV, and I would love to see it. JV is such a, a character um, when he talks. Um, he would be he'd be great. So I can't wait to see him. Um, I've only watched like three episodes of Cake Wars um, just because they happen to be on TV when I actually had cable. I'm gonna have to I'm find, find some way to see this online. I'm sure, I'm sure people see those things on YouTube, so I'll, 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 I'll watch, watch the, the JV clips, clips on YouTube after, after the fact. I'm sure. Yeah. This. What do you think, Lim? I, I oh god oh god wait, I can't wait I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that it's a blue or something, or something. Again, again, again I don't I don't know you broadcast TV as you all screaming and stuff that's my crazy, crazy schedule, schedule. Uh, but, but but I I big big Lloyd Lloyd right right is absolutely perfect perfect for reality reality TV I I hold on just wait 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 just a second Lim sorry we're getting some audio issues here. Yeah, 
Yeah, la, 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 talk, talk. Sorry about that, Lim. Uh, so oh. you, you, you're good to go? Uh, so you're saying oh, yeah. that? Okay, great. Yeah, I was just saying that I agree with Lloyd. He's got the perfect personality for reality TV. Um, I, just the little things that we've seen him do when he doesn't have to be as subdued, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys caught the Periscopes uh, when, he did, when he did Rock Band. Uh, he oh my gosh he had some periscopes when he was doing rock band um, at one of the conferences or one of the expos or whatever and it was awesome absolutely awesome <laughs> this guy's got a personality that mm. fills whatever freaking room he's in and he needs to be on that show mm. and every show that I watch he needs to be on the Muppets he needs to be on the office they need to bring back the office just so he could be on it um, he needs to be on Survivor and American Idol, and I mean, I don't care. Last <laughs> season, who cares? No, you're doing it again. He needs to be on Chuck, do a whole season just on JV. On uh, Scrubs, <laughs> he can be a recurring character on Scrubs. Just do it. Uh, agree. So I say it's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's such kinda, a showman. I kind of want to see him do uh, The Flying Eagle with uh, Zach Braff now, so he has to be on Scrubs. <laughs> yes. I, I got to see that. Great. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. No, so I think it's it's cool for lots of reasons, right? I mean, we're fans of his, we're fans of Disney Infinity, and so it's going to be good for that. But of all the people that you could get judging a Star Wars episode of Cake Wars, they chose JV, and I just think that is pretty awesome. And I'm sure a big reason for that is all of the things that you guys mentioned just now, and because uh, he's going to be awesome on it. Um, someone who's watched a few of these episodes... The, the guest judge can make or break the show, it kind of seems, and I think he's gonna he's just gonna knock it out of the park. Yeah, totally. I he's he's gonna do amazing. JV's awesome. Yeah. Um Yeah, uh, I gotta say something selfishly though. The thing I'm most excited about this, and I don't know why this popped into my head, but uh I have now fulfilled my lifelong goal of uh six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that means that everyone can be traced back practically to Kevin Bacon, uh, the brother of Kevin McAllister in Home Alone was a guest judge not too long ago, and he was uh, on Cake Wars. He starred in a movie with Kevin, or he was in a movie with Kevin Bacon. Uh, R.I.P.D. Never even saw it. I looked this up on. I guess there's even a website. And JB's gonna be there, and so that is my six degrees of Kevin Bacon. That's it's like three you're removed, four. Lim. I see you doing the math there. You're you're four. Four. So it, this is how four. it goes. It goes guest judge, or it goes Kevin Bacon, guest judge. <laughs> it goes other judges on there. JV. So that's five. Yeah, five. Awesome. I'm four. I'm four or five away from Kevin Bacon. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I've, I've, I think everyone I've is, de- right? That's a, the joke. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like eating bacon. Does, does that help? <laughs> You're two. <laughs> You're two. Yeah. I usually get four, but two, two would be okay, too. It's yeah. Oh, that's super funny. <laughs> so, yeah, that's cool. Uh, so, this news is coming at you from infinityinquire.com. So, make sure you check them out. Uh, the the times are posted there. It's happening. It's... it's uh, Monday, January the 11th, Tuesday, January the 12th, playing again on Saturday 16th a uh, couple times, and then Sunday the 17th. So it looks like that's the... Uh, go go to infinityinquire.com, look up this news story for the exact times and dates. But uh, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be entertaining. I'm kind of excited to talk about it next week. I, I mean, I don't think we're really getting any Infinity news out of that, but it will just be cool to, again, to, to watch him. Watch him do his thing. So... Anything else about that, guys, before we move on? Nope, nope. Awesome. Different strokes reunion, family ties. <laughs> Just get them on all of it. <laughs> you're, still, you're still, you're talking about long canceled, not even <laughs> Scrubs is canceled, but long canceled shows. <laughs> family matters. Full, they're doing a full house reboot. Let's get uh, them dude, on that. Full house, fuller house. <laughs> Man. Fuller house. You can do that. The house ain't full until JV shows up. It's true. It's true. <laughs> 
All right. The only other news items we're going to discuss this week uh, is coming at you from DizKingdom.com. And this is something that we were actually, Lloyd and I were going to discuss on the last episode, which was the week of Christmas, but we held off due to our, our Force Awakens conversation. So uh, this was from December 19th. So it's uh, it's it's been a couple weeks, but there's a lot of important information in this uh, article that's on Diz Kingdom. And uh, we're not going to go through everything because a lot of it actually was about the Force Awakens playset, which we now know a lot about that. Uh, this is called A Conversation with JV about the Force Awakens playset and the future of Disney Infinity. So there's just there's a ton of uh, awesome, awesome content on here talking about how the development process worked for the Disney guys on uh, the, the playset and that they actually got to read the script long before it was going to be released. And they had to keep it a secret from... Uh, from their friends and family. Uh, JV was asked if he's seen the script for Rogue One and he neither confirmed nor deny that because that might give away spoilers on whether or not there's a force of, uh, a Rogue One playset coming or not. Uh, let's see here. Again, a lot of this we know about. Uh, this was kind of a cool little interesting tidbit. So, uh, and this is actually uh, written by uh, Abe. Abe Jr., who is a friend of the show and uh, is always reaching out to us on Twitter. So I think he's the one who had this conversation uh, with other media outlets. So this little blurb here, JV shared what he loved most about the Force Awakens figures. He loves Kylo Ren figure in terms of his mold. Uh, he also likes that Kylo Ren, once leveled up, acts differently uh, than the others. Uh, he likes Finn's rifle and Stormtrooper costume, which I think we can all absolutely <laughs> agree on. <laughs> Two thumbs up from the panel here. Yep, I was uh, I was getting my butt kicked this morning, guys, and all I had to do was throw down uh, <laughs> throw down Finn with the stormtrooper. It's kind of cool need, having that uh, ace up the sleeve. It is. I need to get that. I don't I don't have those those discs yet, so I yeah, gotta try that so, out. It's the I win button. It's uh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Lim, do it, buddy. You you won't right. go back. So. <laughs> Uh, this is an interesting tidbit, kind of a small spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the For Force Awakens, uh, we're probably going to say a few things about that in this uh, in this podcast. Nothing crazy, but this could be considered a spoiler. So here is your warning. Uh, he said one of the most difficult things when developing uh, the playset, the Force Awakens playset, was actually uh, translating Poe Dameron into uh, his in-game character. So for anyone who's seen the movie, you know that his role, uh, at least in The Force Awakens Episode 7, it wasn't, it was important, but he didn't have a whole lot of screen time. And uh, so I guess this caused some challenge with with actually animating him and figuring out kind of his in-game personality. I don't know, I just kind of find that pretty, pretty interesting, guys, because it sounds like just from that alone they do... And it's pretty obvious if you play the game, but they take try to take some inspiration from the real life uh, versions of, of the characters. And I don't know. I just thought this was interesting. Mm. Yeah, that's that's really cool. It it any sort of peek behind the curtain for the design process is really interesting. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of that this year um, for 3.0 that we didn't really have with 1.0 or 2.0, um, but to see like the character sketches and kind of talk about the molding process and the redesign for the figures, uh, it's really great. And this just adds a little bit more uh, flavor into that so we can get a little bit more idea what the uh, design process is like. Yep. It's great. Yeah, those... Uh, I think that, oh, go ahead, Lynn. No, I was saying, I think by doing that, it's actually slowed down the need for, oh, give me a new figure, give me new figures, give me new figures, yep. you know, by giving little bits of information, maybe not this is what's coming, but this is how we did what we did. Mm -hmm. It just satisfy that, satisfies that need for Disney Infinity information. Yeah, totally. I, what I was going to say, it kind of goes along those lines, is uh, one of the things I, I really enjoyed leading up to the launch of 3.0 was that Game Informer article, and more specifically the videos that showed us a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of interviews, and uh, Jeff Bunker's the one that's really sticking out in my mind because he's so involved with the, uh, he's kind of the man responsible for the, the in-game piece uh, design. He's a leader in that respect, so that's what it reminded me of. All right, uh, end of spoiler. Uh, people in the chat are asking if we're done, so we are done with the spoilers. Now I think it's safe to come back. Uh, last item, at least for the Star Wars part, we know it by now, but uh, Boba Fett has been delayed 
uh, is no longer releasing in January. That's actually kind of across the board, even though it, a few of our Aussie friends were able to, to pick it up in stores a little bit early. That wasn't the uh, official release date. So it's it's kind of looking like there's going to be a, a more or less a worldwide release come February for, for Boba Fett. So yep. that's what all signs point to. Um, it's, I don't... I don't get that. Why? I mean, Boba Fett's been made for since the launch of the game. So, what do you guys think? Why do you think the uh, the figure's been re- delayed? Give you a reason to go back and play all the Star Wars content again with a flying character, maybe. Um, so they wanna, they want to let all the the stuff sink in and percolate before they give you a reason to go back in to play it. But yeah, it seems weird. He's one of the first characters that was available if you bought the the PlayStation Super Bundle that came with him. So mm-hmm. I don't know. It's weird. I've, that's the one character I don't own right now that I Me really, too. really, really want. So I got to I got I got to get it when it comes out. It just sucks that I got to wait just a little bit longer to get yeah. that. Yeah, that's. Wow. Go ahead, Lim. Uh, you just Brady Bunch dad me right there, Lloyd. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's like I never thought of it that way. <laughs> <laughs> man that's awesome <laughs> uh heather in the chat is saying that he's so cool and it's weird i was uh reading this news two weeks ago when we were uh when we were originally going to talk about this and i was like wait i i have all the figures why is boba fett not ringing a bell for me and i was like oh because I don't have all the figures, he's the one. Yeah. It was just this weird sort of thing where I thought I had him for a moment. I just could not remember anything about him, and it's because I don't own him. <laughs> nice. I think having a flying character, I definitely miss that. Um, but, but reality the chat room is saying he doesn't fly in the play sets. Hmm, yeah, interesting. That's Maybe right. that will be. He does the toy boxes. Maybe mm. that will be added. Maybe that's what they're waiting for. Uh, probably not. They just probably just wanted to leave something for the end of the holiday season to get people interested again. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, that was it for uh, Star Wars news. Now, in my opinion, the most interesting pieces, uh, and that's again probably because we knew a lot of the Force Awakens stuff at this point. But uh, some Disney-specific questions were asked. First up, specifically about Peter Pan, as well as JV's personal projects with Darkwing Duck and Captain EO. Uh, So Avalanche Studios believes that they have the final design ready, for Peter Pan, that is. Uh, They want to reveal it to the Toy Box Master artists first and make sure that they're happy with the design. Then they'll reveal it to the community at a later date. Uh, they're still committed to releasing it by August or September of next year. So that's cool to hear that uh, that process is is moving right along for them. Uh, no update on Captain EO. He's said that that's still kind of an uphill battle. Bummer. I want it just for what it means to him and, and possibility of other uh, characters and stories. But, sure. but Darkwing Duck, on the other hand may be a little bit closer to reality. And this is a super cool story. I'm not going to read it verbatim here. JV told us about a conversation he had with John Blackburn this past week. He said he was having an argument with John Blackburn about a character for an upcoming project that JV was supporting inside of Disney Infinity. John then said to him that he'd rather do Darkwing Duck than that character he was proposing. (laughs) JV said that John really put him back on his heels, because in the midst of the heated argument about a character, he dangled one that is so close and personal to him, uh, and one that they could officially release. Pretty crazy. So I don't think that's by any means confirmation that we're getting a Darkwing Duck, but... At least he's above another character that JV wants to introduce in the game. I don't know. Do you guys, what do you think of the merit of that conversation? I think it's Dark cool. Wing for, yeah. Yeah, I, I want Darkwing. I want all the the, the kind of after school shows I used to watch mm. in, in the game would be absolutely amazing. Um, Darkwing it would be one of my favorite characters if it came out. I'm so, 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 so excited for that. Uh, becoming a thing captain eo don't really care so much about <laughs> um i i get it obviously because i have all the figures but doesn't i don't hold any any love towards yeah. that character like i do um darkwing duck but uh yeah i'm, I'm excited if that actually does happen uh, lurks a lot is saying ducktales playset yes please i want that i'll buy 10 copies of that playset if that yeah. becomes reality so here's the million dollar question DuckTales playset 
or um, Darkwing Duck playset? Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. There's way more stuff that you can do in Darkwing yeah. Duck. Because he's more sleuthy and, and secret, secret agent-y. Um, but DuckTales would still be really fun. Um, an actual money bin that fills up with money and you can dive around in it instead of the money bin that has money up to your ankles. Yeah. <laughs> All of those coins you collect or, or maybe even sparks would... Uh, your your total spark count, your monetary spark count would fill up your uh, money bin. That would be pretty awesome. Oh, no. That would be awesome. <laughs> that. <laughs> Lim, what, what do you think of uh, that conversation with JV and uh, John Blackbird? Well, um, Darkwing Duck... I'm very excited for that. Matter of fact, I have one nerd friend in at work, and she is. I got her into Disney Infinity. She got 1.0, and she calls me her uh, gamer drug dealer because I told her. <laughs> <laughs> I told her about it. And now she just needs it all. I need it all. She's got 1.0. I said, just go to 3.0. No, I need all of 1.0 first. But <laughs> the conversation we have weekly is how would we do a Disney afternoon playset? <laughs> you know. And by far. Um, Lloyd, I challenge you, though. You say you're not interested in Captain EO. Mm -hmm. But would you do a Moonwalker playset? Remember the old... You don't I, remember? I, 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 There's yeah. a retro game I know that Lloyd doesn't? <laughs> okay, sorry. I Idiot. thought you were referencing a movie or a TV show. Yeah. I, like, I only know the James Bond movie, and that's Moonraker, so I don't know what you're talking about. Um, no, no but, that would be... I, I've already played that game though. <laughs> I don't no, know. I'm if saying, I, but no, but, but redone in, in Disney Infinity. Style. I can I can get behind that for sure. It was okay, an old you NES me for game, a right? second there. <laughs> oh, Genesis, an old Genesis game. Genesis, sure. okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I. Yeah, sure. Give that to me right now, Lem. Lem, I know you <laughs> have it. <against> me. <laughs> I want to play it. Um, yeah. No. No, that would be that would be a lot of fun. That's awesome. That's actually one Genesis game I don't own that I'd like to have in my collection. So I'm gonna have to go look for that now. Thanks for the, <laughs> thanks for reminding me. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, this next piece uh, is surely to make Lim super excited as well, uh, and Lloyd too. Marvel Battlegrounds hit beta today, so this article was uh, released on December 19th. So you can presume that it the uh, actual uh, interview conversation with JV happened the day before on the December 18th or, or during that week. So Marvel Battlegrounds hit beta. Uh, they were having a 30-man tournament at the studio to see how it plays and they're apparently loving it internally. Again, this is a peek behind the curtain, which is just always interesting. Playset's going to play like none other and it's going to be a game changer for Infinity. Lim, I know you're just you're drooling there, man. What do you think? Oh, dude. Okay, A... Just the battles, the, the battle process alone, being it like, and you've heard me say it, being like Power Stone, mm -hmm. I'm psyched. But it's a playset, which means side missions and all kinds of other things. What can you unlock in the toy box? Can we make a more uh, a, a battle arena that's more like ba uh, Battlegrounds? And mm -hmm. if so, how crazy are my impossible battles gonna get oh yeah i can't be, wait that's a great idea if you could make your own levels in the toy box that could then be used in mm -hmm. battlegrounds similar to um smash brothers you could do that where you could build a level and then you could you could fight in that level that you built um yeah. highly unlikely that that's gonna happen but Man, if it does, that would be so, so great. Because that means you could bring Star Wars content and all that other stuff into Marvel Battlegrounds. It would be great. I just want to put up the, the text. That's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So the thing that mo interests me most about this conversation, or this, this uh, part of the conversation, is... Well, actually, okay, first let me let me explain the next part because it's Marvel Battlegrounds, and then I'll get back to that. Uh, it's going to use Power Disc in a completely different and unique way than they've ever used them before. So my question to you guys is, what what do you think that the playset being a game changer means? Um, t t do you think that's referring to the Power Disc, or do you think that the gameplay this is introducing, I'm kind of thinking of how kart racing is now in the game, and uh, theoretically that could change every future iteration of the game. Do you think that uh, that's kind of what this is going 
down the lines of? Is this going to be something that's going to yeah. be created and, and stick with the game in some form? I think what they mean is that this is a, a new gameplay type that hasn't existed before. Um, so like, in anything or in infinity in infinity. Okay. Uh, so it'll be similar probably to say like Skylanders or whatever, where you have kind of like a battle arena and you could battle. Um, but obviously this is going to be a little bit more fleshed out since it is a, a standalone product that you're buying for it. Um, I, that's what I want. Like that's what my kids want in Disney infinity. They want to right. basically have fighting games and, and have battles with each other. Um, they love building toy boxes. Don't get me wrong, but they would love a game where it's just them beating each other up. They play Smash Brothers all the time and or not all the time, sometimes. Um, but they played a heck of a lot of the battle mode in Skylanders. And if they could do a lot more of that in infinity with characters that they love, not just weird looking characters that are cool for the game, but mm -hmm. have existed anywhere else before. Um, that would be really, really, really fun for them, I think. Totally. What do you think, Lim? Oh, just, just give it to me now. <laughs> <laughs> just give me all of it all of it i want i want it now i don't want it last week yeah i want it now because last week i wasn't ready next week i'm going to be over ready i need it now <laughs> that's amazing well it, <laughs> i know it, actually it's been interesting to watch the conversation online because it seems like there are a ton of people that are super excited about this playset and i don't think it really has a lot to do well i don't know it's hard to say but is it because it's another something marvel or is it because it's another new unique interesting well fleshed out game type uh i think i think there's lots of fans of, of each possibility there but is it already on the disc great question well mm -hmm. no it can't be it's if there's data yeah uh, well hold on hold on <laughs> hold on what about uh the forced oh, force awakens was already on the disc. Yeah, it was on the disc, but it was encrypted, so no one could see that it was on the disc. This, since they said that this game just hit beta, that means that they're actively working on development for it. So it's going to have to come as a patch. Uh, maybe that's the game changer, the fact that you're actually going to have to hook up online to be able to play it. Or maybe it'll be a separate disc. Um, it'll come with a separate disc that will install. Now, they can't do that because they'd have to have versions of that for every yeah. console. That's never going to happen. But yeah, they're going to require you to, to get online and 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 update somehow. Um, yeah, I can't see other way another way that they could do that unless the base of the game is already on the disc encrypted and they're just adding other content yeah. that maybe you won't have if you don't update. My thought is I maybe... Go ahead, Lynn. No, no, that's fine. My, my thought was maybe some of the the assets with the characters could be in there but if they're I, I imagine a lot of that gameplay is stuff they're having to beta test in these 30 tournament uh events internally so i don't that's a that's an interesting question i could see i could see it go on both sides in in some respect i kind of hope that it is a full need to download deal because and we've had this conversation before where I like that concept um, for Lego Dimensions, you know, mm -hmm. where it's constantly updated. You don't have to buy another disc or anything like that. If that's what they're beta testing, mm -hmm. you know, and you can just, four, you know, 4.5, 4.6, do it, man. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I'm all over that. I'm excited for what this means moving forward yeah. uh, because I'm not just going to have Marvel Battlegrounds in the future. Mm -hmm. That gives us the ability to have Star Wars Battlegrounds and Disney Battlegrounds. And then you don't buy the next Smash Brothers for the Nintendo NX when it comes out. You buy Disney Infinity 4.0 because it has the ultimate Smash Brothers game built right into it. Um, that's my hope anyway. We'll, we'll see if that comes to comes to light in the next year or so. Mm -hmm. Totally. Cool, guys. Um, I'm going to paraphrase this next item, but it's it's also super exciting. Uh, basically, he runs through the list of releases that are, are happening in 2016 that, that they've talked about or um, have already announced. But the, the really cool part is, uh, let's see here if I can find it. He mentions play sets. Uh, so when he is talking about the Battleground playset, he said... We're also bringing more play sets. So apparently we're getting more play sets and figures next year. When, when asked to clarify if he meant to say play sets plural, 
JV said that the word playsets with an S on there is on purpose and correct, so we may be getting at least another playset other than Marvel Battlegrounds. Uh, I hate to say it, but the cynic in me, my first thought in this is, well, we know the next version of the game, however that's coming, 4.0 or uh, more of a download type release that there are no longer new versions. We don't know how it's going to, to work anymore, but um, those are going to bring more play sets this year. So yeah, he, exactly. and, and, and he answered it honestly. I mean... Yep. Yeah, he's not lying. He's so. there's there is more playsets coming out in 2016, just maybe not for for th for 3.0. But, but do you guys sense. think are your personal opinions? Do you think we might get some more 3.0 playsets? Remember back to before uh, the game came out, there was that leak, not really leak, but there was that the the slide that was put up on Best Buy's website where there was going to be three Star Wars or four Star Wars playsets and two Marvel playsets and a Disney playset, a couple Disney playsets or whatever. Um, well, we've gotten our three Star Wars, so maybe there's another Star Wars playset. Maybe we're going to get um, Star Wars Rebels um, it, as a playset. That would be amazing. Um, maybe, in fact, there is going to be two Marvel playsets, so it's going to be um, uh, Battlegrounds and then whatever movie comes out next. Uh, I can't see Doctor Strange being that yeah. one. Maybe Civil, it's Civil War. War. Like maybe a, Civil War, a full Civil War playset will come out. Um, but that Civil War comes out in what month? May. July? May? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that would still be 3.0. Um, so maybe that's a thing. But if they're doing that, then they kind of have to make these things forward compatible then because you're going to want to play this in 4.0 if 4.0 is really going to come out this year. Maybe that's the game changer. Maybe Battlegrounds will with the next release of, of Disney Infinity as well. It's not just a 3.0 thing. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Um, the, mini, the mini of Mickey that we have, is that Playhouse or uh, House of Mouse? Looks like it's... Um, Mickey Mouse Funhouse. Okay. Come inside. The reason I ask is because inside. we haven't seen any clubhouse. We've seen b bad guys for everything else. We just haven't seen any bad guys for Disney yet. So yeah. you know, if they did, if it was House of Mouse, they could bring you know bad guys in for. Could be Pete. Yeah, Pete would be awesome. That would be great. Um, yeah, it's interesting. He did say like a little bit up that there is another special character. Um, that is coming out in quarter one that has not been leaked mm. or announced. So maybe that will be a bad guy for uh, for, for Mickey and Minnie. Yeah. Would be interesting. Yeah. I don't know. It would be awesome. Interesting. I just want I want more playsets. I don't care yeah. what it is. Um, that's where like most of my fun comes with Disney Infinity is going through the playsets myself, uh, going through cleanup and then going through and playing through with the kids. Um, I, if we can get more Marvel, more more Disney. Uh, more Disney play sets in particular would be would be really really great. I'm kind of in agreement with you, Lloyd. I feel like that if they if they come out with another play set after Battlegrounds, that is going to be indicative of them changing the way they release the game. And I think at that point, it's going to be downloads and uh, and um, maybe yeah. not solely downloads, but you know, upgrading 3.0 as it stands, and that is going to be the Disney Infinity moving forward. You can have yeah. patch disc like like back in the day and stuff, but yeah, I, that would be great. Like um Skylanders used to do that where you would buy um an adventure pack or whatever mm -hmm. they were called and that would work with the next version of the game and then the next version of the game and then after three versions they stopped doing that. Um but now Dimensions is kind of doing that because they're not really releasing a new version of the game apparently. You'd be able to take all your content forward. Um Maybe that's that's what this means is that that is going to be a, a, a Disney Infinity thing as well that they're going to start um, future proofing some of the content. I would love that because I'd love to go back and play some of my 1.0 and 2.0 in 3.0. Can't do that, but maybe playing some of the 3.0 stuff in 4.0 would be something that could happen. Yeah. Carrie in the chat is saying PC gamers already get the expansion live. Um, <laughs> And then Cindy, I don't remember this, but Cindy in chat is saying they did say 3.0 was the last of the introduction phase, didn't they? I don't, I'm not saying that it wasn't said. I, I'm not recalling that though. Do you guys know what that? Maybe, maybe they meant that that was the last new, the new content partner that they're going to be announcing because you mm. had your, you had your Marvel. Now you have your Star Wars. I don't think they have anything else they could add into it. So maybe, maybe that was what they meant. I don't know. Unless I'd they, have to go back and watch some of that. 
until they buy Avatar. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Yes. Don't they have a hand in Nintendo as well? Uh, no. They're partnering with Nintendo on some things, but um, for oh no, that's not even Disney, is it? They're, Nintendo's doing um, some theme park stuff, but I can't remember. Yeah, I, I, thought that was, I thought the theme park stuff was with Disney. Yeah, I don't think it was a connection. Although that would be a, an amazing marriage, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the uh, the convo with Johnny V. Uh, awesome article, and we just kind of skimmed over things. So so please please go check out the Diz Kingdom group diskingdom.com and if you haven't read this yet look it over it's just a ton of great information and uh, they're always providing good good info guys that's going to wrap up the news this week uh but before i let you go before i let you go back to your families let you go back to sleep let you go back to disney infinity gaming it is 2016 it's another year we kind of went over a few things but i just wanted to ask each one of you what are you most excited about for 2016 Lim, go first. <laughs> Do you really have to ask? Well, it can be a short make, answer because we are right here. <laughs> make mine a marvel, baby. Yeah. I'm telling you. And I, I know it's not going to happen, but I'm going to keep saying it until it does. DI Mutant Uprising, give me some X-Men. Yes. And give me some Deadpool. Yes. yes. I know it's not going to happen, but I'm going to keep saying it because I know I'm not alone on this. Mm-hmm. When we when we t- when we Instagram that one picture of all the X Men, on it is actually our number one liked uh, photo on Instagram right wow. now. People blew up. Oh my gosh, is this real? <laughs> is this coming out? Ah, oh, where did we get? Ah, uh, dude, it's just chill. This guy's just really talented. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marvel. I'm so Marvel. excited. More Marvel. Lloyd, what are you looking forward to in sixteen of Infinity? I'm looking forward to more play sets. Um, I can't wait for news of um, Battlegrounds, of course, because we know that's coming. But what else could be coming out? Mm. Uh, that's where, like I said, that's where I spend most of my time. Um, I love I love building toy boxes, but I'm not someone that does that um, competitively. Um, I'm someone that does play the play sets multiple times with family members and stuff. So uh, I want more play sets. Um, but also, I'm going to steal uh, Disney Picks Chick in the chat room saying VR Disney Infinity. If Disney Infinity works with PlayStation VR next year, I'm going to be a very, very happy person. That would be amazing. Yeah. I want the v, uh, the HoloLens experience after I saw yes. that uh, that Minecraft. Uh, but I think we're ways out, so I'm going to go with you on the PSVR first. No. I'm going to be so broke. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the gaming life. <laughs> Welcome to the toys for life. Why uh, do we have a second mortgage life? on the house? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did Amazon deliver a box of little plastic things for me? Because I, I kind of, I kind of need that right now. Uh, no. Yeah. Are the two related? No, not no. A, not at all. <laughs> Lim asked why, or Lim's wife asked why there's a second mortgage on the house, and then he, you hand your wife the VR headset, and it's like, look, we can live anywhere. <laughs> the house yeah. we can be in this house forever yeah. <laughs> uh, mine's pretty simple I'm just excited for 4.0 or whatever the next iteration is uh, it's always something fun to look forward to although I'm very much not done with 3.0 and I gotta be honest I mean I'm st- it's still it, we're still in a much better place than we were this time last year in my opinion just because 3.0 is such an advancement over 2 so I'm still loving the game but 4 is awesome and just kind of the, the rollout has, has been so different. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of stages of different things that's coming out. So um, we still have the we still have the figures from another movie. We still have Battlegrounds. So it's uh, we got a lot more this go around. Um, I'm really curious if 4.0, like we speculated, is going to kind of change up the formula a little bit with how they roll stuff out going forward. So um, yeah. he- heading into E3, I'm super stoked to get any little tidbits of information. This is when it starts to starts to get I don't know, picked up a little bit where things mm-hmm. things start coming out and leaking out through the through the cracks of uh, of of Disney Interactive and and uh, Avalanche and yeah, I'm I'm stoked just for the speculation because that is really fun when we sit here and say things uh, that don't come true because uh, the only <laughs> stuff that does come true is the stuff that Jason thought of first. So we got we got to understand that. Awesome. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the news. 
this is a great show. Lots. It's been uh, it was good to to re-energize over the break, but uh, we're hitting the ground running, and we're going to be providing you all the Infinity news from this point forward each and every week, as we have always done. Lloyd, what have you been up to lately? Where can people find you online? I've been up to not much, uh, eating far too much and uh, <laughs> spending time with family. But uh, getting back into the podcasting game, uh, we just recorded our first episode of the new year for DRES, which is our general gaming news show over at res.tv. So you can go check that out at rezd.tv. Um, but yeah, we also do a lot of other stuff uh, inside Dimensions, our Lego Dimensions show, uh, which we're going to kind of expand to cover other Lego games and whatnot. So you can check that out there as well. And a Nintendo Pulse is going to be up there as well. So all that stuff is getting kicked off in the next week or so. So um, stay tuned for more podcasting gamey goodness over at res.tv. Did you mention your tw- Twitter handle? I wasn't paying attention. You follow me on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Daz me on Twitter. Uh, D-A-S-M-E. Awesome. Lim, where can people find you on the interwebs? I am everything DisneyInfinity.tv um, If you go on Instagram DisneyInfinity.tv on Twitter, I, I'm starting to sign my stuff on Twitter just because we're all on that, mm. <laughs> so people know who's doing, who's saying what. Yeah. Uh, so, but on Twitter, Disney, Disney Infinity TV, you can find me there. Um, I'm also Bad Gamer, Dub Bad Gamer Official, or sorry, Bad Gamer Official on Instagram, Bad Gamer Official on Twitter. Um, I do all the promoting of. All of us here, especially these two in the Toys to Life. Uh, 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 what is it? The toy, not Toys to Life. It's uh, uh, Toys for uh, Games. Toys for Games. The Toys for Games. Uh, yes. There's a little con- uh, uh, little awards for the year, uh, and they are two of the community leaders of in that contest. So go vote. Go vote <laughs> for these guys. This is me doing my job, guys. This is how I get to stay around. <laughs> I promote these guys. Yeah, we're, as, we're up as for... As we uh, used to say... Oh, go ahead. No, I'll just go for it. I was going to say, as they say, Lem, can you pimp this out? Yes, <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're, up for, uh, we're up for community leaders, um, which is interesting, because we're in there for Lego, um, mm-hmm. just because they have to have one from every category. But if you love love us for the work that we do for, for Disney Infinity as well, you can uh, also vote uh, Lloyd and Will, or Will and Lloyd, I don't know what's <laughs> up there, uh, over at that, is, that uh, contest as well, because that would be really cool. And it's such an honor to be, to be listed there. So thanks uh, to all the fine folks over at the Toys for Games cast. Yeah, this is super awesome. And Lim, thanks for that uh, shout out. This is at uh, toysforgames.com. It's uh, Jason and his crew. This is uh, posted by Josh over there. And it's super awesome. It's it's a cool uh, awards, Toys for Games awards. So I've noticed a lot of uh, a lot of awards stuff in our community over the last couple of weeks. Uh, but those things have been focusing on Disney Infinity because that's the community we're a part of. But we're also part of that much larger community of just the Toys uh, toys to Life category of gaming. And this is uh, en- encapsulates that fully. So it's vote for your favorite Toys to Life game, uh, your favorite Skylanders figure if you're a Skylander fan, Disney Infinity. So it's kind of cool if you have uh, a lot of those overlapping interests. You can go over there and uh, check out the, the annual Toys for Games Awards. Uh, like Lloyd said, it's super honored to be nominated. That was that made my day. We're up there with Allison, Lloyd, and I would rather Allison be a rep for uh, Disney Infinity because she fully deserves that. But hey, we got the Lego Dimensions one, so that's cool too. That is pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, they have they have someone from uh, Amiibo, someone from Disney Infinity, someone from Skylanders, someone from Dimension, someone's from just Nintendo um, in general. I I guess they have two. Amiibo categories there for whatever reason, but uh, one's yeah, a member so of their team. It looks like uh, that's what it is. So yeah, it's uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, really cool to be listed up there. So thanks to all the fine folks over there. But yeah, go vote. Even if you don't vote for us, uh, go vote and let the world know what your favorite stuff is. Because they got a <laughs> whole pile of different categories. Ton of stuff. Ton of stuff. Uh, you can find me online, uh, Twitter at i liam i l i a m. Um, obviously here on the podcast on our YouTube channel. I'll be mentioning that in a few minutes. Also, uh, Lim didn't mention it, but we do morning streams 
Monday and Tuesday and Friday. Lim does a morning stream. I stream Wednesday and Thursday. Lim's not doing this Friday. I'll be picking up the slack there for him. Not that he's slacking, but he's just not available. So uh, yeah, check us out. It's always fun. It's a little more intimate setting because it's generally a smaller chat, but it's it's super cool starting starting our day with all of you. So we appreciate all uh, everyone who joins us there. Mm. So. I'm glad you mentioned that, Will, because we are starting to do guests on Breakfast with the Bad Gamer too, and we have a we have actually have a few of our guests in the in the chat that are coming in. Can awesome. I just? So. That's super awesome. That's really cool. I'm excited to see those games. You had one uh, just the other day. You had Jay was in there with your torture yeah, box. Yeah. So. Yep. Jay was in with the torture box and uh, Carrie works a lot. She started us off this year with that. Nice. Uh, that was so much fun. We, I invited her back. I didn't invite Jay back. Uh, <laughs> Can't no. imagine why. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, Jay's, Jay's actually scheduled for... We actually have people scheduled all the way through March. Awesome. So wow. That's super cool. popular over there. Wow. Well, I'm just saying you guys are awesome. <laughs> As in the chat, not the panelists. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. We chat. know that. Well. I just love that you actually eat your breakfast. <laughs> during your breakfast with bad gamer it's not just a catchy title it is literal it's, it's literal yep all right with that i think we're gonna call it thanks again to everyone who joined us live thanks for everyone who's listening and watching on youtube we appreciate everything can't wait to talk to you more infinity can't wait to see you on all the live streams check sound rest we will see you next week and until then we hope your week is filled with infinite possibilities you enjoyed this week's episode of the inside infinity podcast if you like what we do please subscribe and follow hit those like buttons really helps us out really appreciate it give us a review on itunes if you are so inclined also check us out on patreon.com forward slash disney infinity tv where you can become a patron of ours facebook.com groups disney infinity tv youtube.com forward slash disney infinity tv twitch.tv forward slash Disney Infinity TV. Check us out over on res.tv. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next week.